Hello everybody and welcome back to Aquatism Gaming with more Walking Dead Total Series, series Season 4, the final season. Okay, so last we were off, we had a little party, tried to get everybody's spirits up. Uh, got awkward near the end and I think just made everybody more sad and, you know, didn't really cheer anyone up. But now I think we're getting close to the attack. So let's get... Blending in with the walkers need to cover themselves. Now we just need your walker friend to hear. Good lord. Uh, hello. Guys, this is James. He's my friend. He's, uh, so cool. How do you get the skin like that? Uh, oh, I, um,. Clementine? Can I try it on? That's not a good idea. Come on, please. Oh, come on, give him some space. But I just want to... Not right now. Yeah, right. Sorry. I didn't mean to be weird or anything. It's okay. Oh, and sorry I tried to shoot you that one time. Your mask looks so real. I, uh, uh, hey. Hey there, James. Sorry about Willie. Is this the guy that Clem said she'd marry? <laughs> yeah. Um, Clementine, could I speak to you alone for a moment? Good idea. Hold tight. Hey, Tank, can you come talk for a sec? There's something I have to tell you. The walkers. They'll be here in a little while. You can join them as they pass through the trees. The noise from the boat will draw them toward the water. Then we can get on board and save our friends. Your friends are... different. Open-minded. Accepting. Like you. That's not usually how my first impressions go. Sorry, I feel like I'm rambling. It's just... being welcomed. It's strange. You know, True they enough. could be your friends, too. I know you didn't want to come into the school before, but now that you've met them... I haven't lived with people in a long time. But... It does sound nice. Let me think about it. I wanted to show you something. This is... was my boyfriend, Charlie. We joined the Whisperers together. But it changed him. In a way that couldn't be undone. It changed both of us. What do you mean? The Whisperers were my family. From a young age. In that time, I witnessed a lot of death. And suffering. Eventually, I became the cause of it. Weakness was considered a poison. And I believed in that fiercely. So much so that when another boy expressed sympathy for our enemy before an attack, I slit his throat. I didn't talk to him, didn't consider who he was, what he felt. Honestly, I don't even remember his name. You killed someone innocent? A child? That's horrible. I know that now. But then I didn't care. It had to be done. After he died, I kept hearing his words in my head. Those people are like us, just on a different path. I stopped killing after that. I changed. No one else did. When AJ told me he killed someone, it reminded me of them. 
of myself when he said it was the right thing to do. Taking life like that from a young age, it breaks something inside you. It broke something in Charlie. I just... I'm afraid if AJ kills again, he won't be able to go back. He won't be the same boy he was. I've seen it happen too many times. I'm not going to let AJ become a killer. I don't want him to change. Not like that. I hope you can keep that promise. They're close. Soon there will be enough of them to provide us cover. I'll lead you through the herd until you reach the boat. Okay. That's as far as I go. After that, it's up to you. Thank you. Take care of AJ. Okay, he's ready to go. The walkers are getting close. Ruby, you're in charge of the horses. Willie, Ted, take care of the supplies. I've got the bomb. Find the boiler. There'll be a door on the bottom with ash and stuff. Put it in there. On the other side. I'll cut it open. Violet told me about Minnie. That Sophie died, and Minnie is one of them now. Just. If you see her out there. Tell her, tell her I forgive her, please. I tell her myself, but... It's fair enough. I just want her to be okay. Yeah, sure. If we see her, I'll let her know. Thanks. We gotta move. Clem? What happens if someone else gets caught while we're in there? What if it's you? I couldn't save Minnie or Lou or Sin. Omar. I, I, I really care about you, Clem. If something happened to you because of me, I can't lose you too. I won't. That's not going to happen, Violet. I'm not going anywhere, I promise. I know that's easy to say, but... Look, I've got your back, okay? That's all. Are we good? Yeah, I think so. Okay, let's bring our friends back home. All of them. All of them. It's ready. So, I know this is gonna sound gross, but... Covering your smell. <laughs> Smart. No. Get my back. Thanks. We gonna do it? We're doing it. Here 
we go. Stay behind the walkers. Use them as shields. Leaving cover. We'll have to crawl along the side of the dock. Oof. AJ Walkers Yeah. 
We're getting close. After we find the boiler and place the bomb, we'll get our friends out. Minnie said there were eight raiders, but we didn't see that many outside. Look out for guards and stay quiet, okay? Right behind you. Good. I'll scout ahead and signal when it's clear. Got it? Gotta be the boiler, right? Yeah, it looks like it. That's where we need to plant the bomb. There's too much stuff in there. And maybe there's another way in. Masterpiece. Bury this thing in the bottom of the river. Once they start up this boat, we won't have much time before it explodes. How long? Not sure. An hour, 30 minutes. Let's hurry up then. Focus. Yes, ma'am. I, I, I have a little brother. Just a short, scarred face. See? He's not out there, is he? Look, we've discussed this. Your family is Delta now. There ain't no room for anyone else. Yes, ma'am. Shit. Of course she had to be the cell guard. We can't sneak past her. our people. I swear to God, if you got Ten caught up in this, just, just tell me that he's safe. Give me that. Go see for yourself. He's outside. You brought him 
Peter? We kept him away from the fighting. He's safe. <sighs> Shit. I'll help you get everyone out. Then you take my brother and run. I never want to see you again. Fair enough. Come on, we have to hurry. Clementine? Holy fuck! Oh my god, are you okay? He doesn't look hurt. I... Uh, yeah, I'm alright. We're alright. Take care of Louis first. He's... he's in rough shape. I'll unlock the other cell. We don't have a lot of time before Doreen comes back. Violet, help me with these guys. Got it. Louis. Louis. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? Blame yourself. Don't no. fucking point it at me. Don't have me. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You'll be home soon. Looks like there's a gap here to fit my hand through. We're not staying here that long. Clem, are you all right? I'm fine. Where's AJ? Over here! Thank God. Shit. At least we're not moving yet. We've still got time to figure this out. Vi, are you alright? I'm fine. Looking for a way out. If this thing explodes... You doing okay in there, AJ? Yeah. I'm alright. I'm looking for a way out. Yeah, me too. The doors don't look very well made. Maybe that's something we can work with. I might be able to chip away at this if I had a tool or... They must have taken away my knife. AJ! Do you still have your knife? Yeah, they didn't find it. Only the big one. Good. I need you to slide it over to me.
whatever you do me. Don't. I promise you. It ain't worth it. Step back. She awake? Yes, ma'am. Good. I'll take it from here. All right. Where's Abel? He's dead. We killed him. We put a knife in his head. Fuck. You little monster. Damn it! We showed him mercy. He was terrified of turning, so we stopped him from having to. We gave him what he wanted. <laughs> I'm sure you did. Back up. Minerva. Open the door. Yes, ma'am. Normally, the trouble you caused, I'd shoot you and toss you overboard. But I'm genuinely impressed. First, you organized these idiot kids into a fighting force and killed two of my most experienced soldiers. Then you sneak onto my boat under the cover of a herd. I bring a prize like you back to the Delta. It might make this whole clusterfuck of a mission worth it. Someone like you, so young with so much potential, you're far too valuable to kill. Everyone glares at me like that at first, but you'll come around. You know, my father, Larry, was a military man. And when I was a kid, he had all kinds of rules. The thing that bugged him most was waste. If I ever left a light on after leaving a room, he'd flip. No matter how many times he ranted about the cost of electricity, I could never remember to hit that switch. So? So one day, he let our power get cut. He liked illustrations to show that actions have consequences. No more TV, no more hair dryer, no more ice cream sandwiches. Just a miserable family sitting in the dark. Well, I guess asshole runs in the family. Is that the consequence? That you're an asshole? The consequence is, I never left the lights on again. My father had his faults, but he showed me the effectiveness of teaching by example. Oh, well, I'm going to end this episode here, and I'll see you guys next time with more Walking into the Toto series season four. And if you liked this video, like it down there, subscribe, tell your friends, let them join the legions, and I'll see you guys next time.